Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm going to be showing you how I make my oven roasted red snapper. I'm telling y'all it's delicious and you don't want to miss this one okay. So grab all of your ingredients, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Alrighty guys, so look if you want to skip this part because you already know what's going on, you can skip it to about a minute forward okay. But look for the people who want to stick around, let's clean up this fish. So first off, um, I purchased this fish already gutted and it was already descaled. Like all the scales were gone, all right? So here, all I'm doing now, I do not personally like the fins on, so I'm gonna cut off the rest of the fins and I'm gonna clean this down with a little bit of vinegar and lime and some water. And I'm just gonna scrub it down because when you take it out, you know, it does kind of have like a little, not slimy feel, but you know, it just, it just don't sit right in my spirit to not rinse this fish off. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you choose to do something else, that's on you, honey. But, you know, give it a courtesy rinse, all right? Um, another thing I wanna add, when I trim off um, these fins, they are atrocious trying to get off, okay? You may take some meat out. They are perfectly fine like this. I just personally do not like the fins. I think the fins bother me more than the eyes, okay? If you want to leave them on, you can. I'm cutting mine off. See that? Look at that. Nice fish, right? But once you get it trimmed how you want, cleaned up, set it to the side, and now we're going to work on the seasoning and the filling. So here I have three different types of bell peppers, but I only use half of each one. So you only need about a cup of it, all right? And I sliced them and diced them and chopped them, and I added in some scallion as well as some parsley, all right? To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lime juice just to brighten this up a little bit because this is all fresh, okay? And for some seasoning, I'm going to add in some seasoning I found in the store. It's a half teaspoon of tropical sazon seasoning. And to that, I'm going to add a splash of olive oil. And then I'm going to add in two chopped garlic cloves. Now listen, if you cannot find that seasoning, I will put a link in my description box to something on Amazon, but you can find it in most of your local grocery stores. If not, you can replace it with a little bit of salt and pepper or regular sazon. That's up to you, all right? So, moving right along. We have our veggie seasoned. Y'all, I had to make some lifestyle changes and I found this Tony's uh, no salt seasoning, so that's exactly what I'm going to be using. If you want to use the regular Creole seasoning, you can, but I'm using a tablespoon of that. And also, this did not come out spicy, just in case someone's wondering. But I use a tablespoon of Tony's. I use a half teaspoon of paprika, or a teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, and then I added just a little bit of that tropical sazon seasoning in there since I didn't have a lot of salt, right? And I ain't gonna lie to you, I added a little pinch of salt for good measure because we don't want no bland food. I'm sorry, we can't do it over here, all right? But I did add a small amount. You can add whatever seasonings you like, but this is what I recommend, okay? And remember, all those measurements are in the description box. So here I added about three tablespoons of olive oil and I mixed that in so I can make this kind of pasty like because I want to paint this fish pretty, all right? I don't want it to have a dry rub, but if you want to use a dry rub, say you don't want the oil, you can just add the seasons directly to it and then add oil to the fish first. But this is the way I like to do it. It gives the fish nice color. So, you know, that's what we're going to ride with, right? Now, while we, you know, got our seasons going, Go ahead and take a very sharp knife and score your fish, all right? You want to do that so that you get an even cook and also so the flavor can penetrate this fish. Come on now. Let's be real. Let's be honest about it. We're trying to get some flavor all up and through this thing, all right? So I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to season the inside with my um, seasoning. I'm going to season the back side because we're eating that side too. And if you are freaked out about these eyes or the head, y'all, I just could not take the head off this fish because it was going to ruin the aesthetic. But if, you, if you're freaked out about it, put extra seasoning on it so you can't see it once you cook it. Or just have your people to cut it off, okay? It's just that simple, all right? But here I'm adding in some lemon and lime slices. I'm going to also take my seasoned veggies and I'm going to add those into the middle of the fish. I'm going to stuff that in. You can put as much or as little as you like. There is no limit to what you want to do, okay? As long as it's packed with flavor. That's all that matters. 
So I stuffed it in both fish. I put the lemon and lime slices on both fish. The other side is already seasoned. So all we have to do now is just season the top side. Get those eyes, get the lips, get the mouth, cover it up extra so you don't have to look at it, honey. Or matter of fact, so it don't have to look at you. Cause I, I'm not gonna sit here and play like it don't bother me. It does bother me, but again, I could not cut the head off this fish because it was going to make the fish look ugly. And I just didn't want to do that, okay? I had to grow up a little bit. Now, this is what it should look like. And then we're going to place this fish into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to broil it on high so the skin can get nice and crispy. Or so that we can burn it a little bit for two. And y'all, this is what you're going to get. Look at this that y'all i'm telling you such a quick and easy meal and it's so fresh and it's good for you okay so look let's go ahead and plate it up There you have it, guys. Look at that delicious red snapper. I'm telling y'all, it was amazing. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going in with my fingers because it's just me. Oh, my goodness. Look, look at how juicy that is. Look, look. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah and that will definitely do it for today's episode y'all so look i want to thank you guys for watching as always thank you for tuning into my channel and if you try this recipe out let me know down in the comments and i'll see y'all next time in the next video bye